Hey guys, I thought I'd bring you another pressure cooker idea that I'm doing tonight. And basically, I have stuffed red peppers in my pressure cooker. And as you can see, there's four peppers. I have three meatballs left with my ingredients. And the only reason I'm not showing you how I stuff my peppers and what I put in them, because everybody does it their own way. But basically, I had some Spanish rice left over from last night's dinner and some ground pork. So I mixed them together with some breadcrumbs, threw it all together in a pan, and it's all raw except for the rice. So this has to be pressure cooked for... 30 minutes and the only other thing I'm doing is adding the liquid which is a tomato soup as you can see I'm going to cover everything really good oh, sorry for the shaking but I gotta get my tomato soup in there and I want to bring you along for this part of it so there's the tomato soup I'm going to add a can of water and then I'm going to put this under pressure I'm going to under high pressure for 30 minutes Okay, I hit the start button, that starts heating everything up. I could actually set this before I loaded it, and it would actually start heating up whatever was inside the, the uh, pot already. I'm just going to add another can of water, then I'm going to put this under pressure, and I'll bring you back for the final product. And this is how simple your meals can do go. Anything you would put in your crock pot, you can do in this pressure cooker within 15 to 30 minutes versus running a crock pot for eight hours imagine the electricity you're going to save keep that in mind when you think crock pot instead plan on your pressure cooker all right i'll bring you out for the final product and we'll be back in a little bit hey guys i'm back i'm pulling See if I can get a hold of this. I'm pulling the last, whoops, I got my rack. My last pepper out. As you can see, it's fully cooked. I'm gonna put it in a in a bowl here. And I had this rack in there so the peppers didn't sit on the bottom and burn. There, there you go. So that's just gonna go in the sink to be washed. And you can see the tomato soup ended up being just that tomato soup that goes over it or you can put it over rice as a side you can even do mashed potatoes as a side whatever you want to do but this is now flavored tomato soup because it's got the the pork juices in it and it's got the red pepper flavor in this soup so even if you don't use it up you can always reheat it as a regular soup the next day so that's something to do with the leftovers but as you can see my kitchen's a little messy because we, we already ate when I forgot to almost to do the video. This is the last one that's left. As you can see, the inside's fully cooked. You can see the rice in there. The pepper's nice and tender. Look at that. It just falls apart. And that was 30 minutes under pressure. But you can see, look at the meat. It's still together. It didn't cook apart, which is nice. So, and it, I can tell you, it is delicious. So give it a try. And I hope you all um, get your pressure cookers, your electric pressure cookers. And I hope you enjoy learning how to make your regular meals in a pressure cooker. And this took me a total of 30 minutes once the peppers were stuffed. And then 30 minutes in the pressure cooker. And we have a nice hot dinner. So I hope you all enjoy the video. And if you want to see anything else, if you have any ideas or suggestions of things that you cook that I might be able to do for you and video it, let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a blessed day.